how I can talk about the dupes if I don't have the original product? But do I really need the original product if the dupes performs as well? Charlotte Tilbury is a makeup artist and she came up with her own brand a few years ago. And it's been very successful. There are cool, it has a cult following and a few of their items become favorites of many, many people. However, it's not cheap. Why? Because of the product quant quality and also the package. So unless you have money to spend or you want the or you want to show off the package in public, you can go for it, but not everyone can afford it. And because that brand been around for the last couple of years, there are people who found cheaper alternatives in the drugstore and somewhere around there. So what I have here are four items, which are dupes or cheaper alternative to the Charlotte Turbury products. And why I'm saying that because if the product which I have here performs well, is, is there a need for me to go and buy something which costs 50 or $60 if the one for like 10 performs exactly the same, if not better? And once I'm going to put it on my face and leave the house, no one's going to ask, oh, do you have blush which costs $45 or the one which costs 6 no one will notice because it's already on your face. First product is the blush, which is a dupe for the Pillow Talk blush, which has a uh, two shades inside. What is it? Okay, what the dupe is, is the Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amore Baked Powder Blush. As you see for yourself, so we have two shades, pink and a brown, and there is a little sheen in it. So when you swirl it, they all merge together. And that's the blush which I have on my cheeks now. And in reality, it does look pretty. You have that nice sheen, or let's say that afterglow. So do I really need something which is going to cost me $50 and it's going to look exactly the same? Not really, because I'm happy with this shade. And why I'm showing you the dupes? Because so many people were researching the dupes that they are widely available on the internet. And that's what I was based my research on. My cheeks, I have the Milani blush in 03 Berry Amore Baked Powder Blush, 012 ounce, 3.5 grams, and that's the color of it. When I was recording this part of the video, I don't know why, but the thing didn't record it, but that's the blush which I have on me. But let me just swatch it for you. So here we go, that's what it is. And I don't know. Now what? I think you can already see it. I don't want to add more because it can be a little bit... Uh, too much but yeah that's the uh, blush which i have on my cheeks let's move on to the next product and that's gonna be the powder her magic powder comes in a huge compact has a uh, many many people who love it but the cheaper alternatives is the number seven lift and luminate triple action finishing powder i have mine in light medium but what does it do i'm gonna read you from the package it does three things. Reduces the appearance of fine lines, even skin tones visibly smooth the skin. And yes, it does because the powder, it's finely melt, melt. And I used this product in the past and you know that I do like it. It's very smoothing and it will make your skin look way better than it was before it. And you have 10 grams, which is 0 0.35 ounce, come in an oval package. And the powder looks like this. And it's very soft to the touch. You already apply it, but let me apply it some more. This thing is gentle enough, and you can easily put it underneath your eyes to set up uh, your concealer. And it is even took out the shine which I have from um, sunblock. But it gives it that nice uh, smoothing effect. I do like this powder and even though it costs $12, it performs really, really well. 
if you're wondering what I have on my hand <laughs> are the swatches for the lip liners and her lip liners I famous as well why because when you put them on your eye you can smudge it and make it more smoky or and then let it dry and it stays there this it's something similar and why I'm saying that because I put this not too long ago let me just clean my fingers and check this one up it stays there and by the way it's hard to remove it because I have this issue yesterday when I was trying them out but and here we go you can still smear it and make it more smoky and I'm going to what I'm going to tell you what is it in a moment here we go so in here I have two shades but what is it in Revlon so fierce vinyl eyeliner I have two shades one it's the brown the other one it's gray grayish I was trying to buy the black one but it was already so loud but the nice thing about those pencils they glide smoothly they're very soft and yes you can still smear them and they will once they said they said they don't move and because they're performing well do I really need another one for a higher price not really because i'm happy with the way how those two perform i have one more dupe which is a lipstick and this it's a exact exact dupe for the pillow talk lipstick it's from the milani line in a shade secret that's the one which i have on me but i put gloss on top of it that was it's a little bit shiny but oh yeah let me swatch it for you so the way how it looks here we go even though it's a matte formula it's very creamy and it's comfortable to wear i'm gonna try on me the milani lipstick in 430 secret so it comes in a package like this let me swatch it for you even though it's matte it glides smoothly and it's not dragging it looks almost like my lip color but a little bit lighter even though it's matte it's still comfortable to wear mm -hmm. that's the secret lipstick from milani mm -hmm. but let's say if i will go to the counter and buy the lipstick i don't think i will look at this shade and say yeah this is for me i'm gonna buy it but because this is what like seven or eight dollars i could easily buy it and decide that you know what yes i will wear it no i will not or even if i will not i can just pass it along or throw it away because it was only what let's say even it was only eight dollars if this will cost me 50 i will i will feel bad to throw it away and i will force myself to use it why for the drugstore one guess what you use it you don't those were the cheaper alternatives for the charlotte tilbury products which i do like not the charlotte tilbury but i like the alternatives and because those products they perform well i don't really have a need of going and buying the more expensive ones because those ones they perform well that's all what i have for you in this video and i see you next time <laughs> bye